The News 5 investigators continue to follow through. They found police overtime continues to skyrocket in 2020. Uniformed officers pulled down $14 million in OT in 2021. That jumped to 18 and last year, 22 million. News 5 investigator Sarah Buttison has been telling us that the Cleveland Police Department has been dangerously understaffed. One year ago, the airport was the biggest culprit in this. And you're back here tonight following through to tell us it's only gotten worse. It has. You just won't believe it when you see it. Most of the big bucks spent in overtime is not spent on the streets where Cleveland police are out there mm -hmm. fighting crime. It is spent behind kiosks at the airport. Like Barbara Johnson, patrol officer's base pay maxes out at $67,000. Last year, she earned almost as much in overtime. Oh, wow. Greg Hardy earned even more. His overtime, almost $73,000. Curtis Brothers beat them both earning more than 76 grand. Definitely looking at that. And then there's Carl Lloyd. He earned almost $120,000 in overtime. His total compensation, more than $188,000. More than the mayor. It's not only making a little bit more than a mayor of the city of Cleveland, it's substantially more than a mayor of the city of Cleveland. That was last year's story, which ended with police pledging to add more officers at the airport. But here's what happened. In 2022, OT at the airport jumped another half million dollars. Police salaries also jumped up by $7,000, but we found overtime increased as well. Remember what Greg Hardy made last year? We found his overtime increased from $73,000 to more than $86,000 in 2022. The total, an additional 20 grand. He's not the only officer who made more, much more. <laughs> Curtis Brothers took home another $41,000 in 2022. And then there's Carl Lloyd, the Cleveland police officer who makes more than the mayor. <laughs> we found he made an additional $30,000 in 2022 for a total of close to $217,000. So why did overtime go up again? The city blamed a decrease in staffing levels. Last year, Councilman Mike Polenzik blamed mismanagement, but tonight he is calling on the mayor to create a $10,000 signing bonus for any cadet who completes the Cleveland Police Academy. In a news release, he called the size of the last two Police Academy classes pitiful. I'm News 5 investigator Sarah Buttison. It is the half million dollar question. Sarah, thank you so much again.